Hey YouTube, how you doing? I just want to bring a quick video to let you guys familiarize yourself with Genius Brands. Now I'm on the website right now just for visual so you guys could see what Genius Brands is about. Now an overview of Genius Brands, you could see um, they're into entertainment. Uh, it says we at Genius Brands believe in content with a purpose. Therefore, we have partnered with award-winning creators and producers to distribute enriching and diverse entertainment worldwide in all formats. Now, we do know one of the bigger names in this company right now that's a part of um, this investment is Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's one of the names that you uh, could think about. Well, I don't think they will be making any Terminator movies, but it's more of a kid's environment. Now, the big news yesterday, guys, that have the stock riding low is the joint venture with Stanley. Uh, most of you guys that do not know who Stanley is, Stanley is one of the genius behind Marvel, uh, Captain America, yeah, Iron Man, Black Panther, Thor, um, basically all the comics from Marvel that sell millions and billions of dollars every year. He was one of the genius as a creative director, a person with force that's over the years I've created these visualizing um, movies and universe that we visualize. Now, the great the great thing about this is is that Genius Brand uh, was doing a pump, and I tell a lot of people, and uh, when I look at the brand itself, I was like, you know what, it's pumping too fast. I want to wait until it pulls back, then and then we get that sweet spot that you want to enter into a trade. Because as you can see, for example. Now we know six months ago the stock works nothing. Basically, it's a penny stock, right? So six months ago, we look back to April eight. Uh, this stock was trading just around twenty three cents per shares. Yes, it was trading twenty three cents per shares. So anyone who got in at that time, for sure, um, it's a great entry. Um, even anyone that got in around eighty cents, it's a perfect entry. Um, anything less than a dollar at that point. Now, we all know that we cannot change the future unless if news like this comes out that the stock have a huge pullback, that's the only time you would be able to take advantage. Now, as we can see right now, the stock went on a tear. When I mean a tear, it went on a huge surge. If we look back April 29, it was still trading uh, less than 30 cents. We go back close as May. On uh, the beginning of May, it was still trading um, high 75 cents and then by May 29, the ending of May, we could see this huge climb for June that goes as high as $11.70. Now, um, just imagine um, if you did invest around that. Now, we know we cannot change the path, but I'd like to put it into perspective for you guys. Uh, just say a number from three months ago, $0.30. Cents. If you guys did invest that time, then for sure you'd be coming out smiling right now at a whopping $390,000. Now, we cannot change the past and we cannot predict the future. You can only set yourself up for success by thinking, okay, how much does the company really worth to you right now? And here's the keyword, how much does this company worth to you? Not to every other investors, because that's where we confuse ourselves. Because if you think the company worth, uh, say, $20 per share, then you can invest at 266 and you can wait until it gets to $20 per share. But if you're thinking, okay, you know what? I think this company will worth a possible $20 per share in two years. Then it's a no brainer. And uh, the shares trading at 266 per shares, I would still wait until it gets to low twos, maybe two tens, or even if it breaks down to 190 or 180. Right? I would feel comfortable trying to enter in the trade from anything from 180 to 220, 225 uh, per share. If you're going at that, um, at that price range, it gives you more flexibility. If it drops lower, then you can get more shares to break your average. And if it starts to climb, of course, and if you think it's going for a run, then you could possibly get more shares. And then you can do um, some trades in between while keeping your long-term positions. Now, I, I do think that um, Genius Brands um, has the, the potential 
um, to make a lot of money in the future. Um, and the main and the main scenario that you're looking at right now is that it's focusing on kids. And we all know as parent, when there's any um, product that focuses on kids, it wins the hearts of the parents. Now uh, we do know this deal with the Stanley. Um, it says Genius Brands International deal will leave company managing and controlling partner of Stanley Universe joint venture. So basically, I think the rights uh, still belongs to Stanley. That's the only negative part that I'm thinking about is that how much revenue can uh, Genius Brands actually make, right? So uh, my suggestion right now, my analysis, what I'm looking at. I'd still wait off first. If the price gets down in the low twos, maybe $2 or 180, um, then you could take a small position and slowly increase your investment if it drops lower. And also if it, if it starts to climb with a if it starts to climb on an upward trend, then you could think of getting some more shares and follow the market through as well. It's not recommended to chase stocks, but uh, like stocks like these, you have to be careful before you enter and before you go in with a large sum of money. Guys, as usual, I want to thank you for watching my channel. Please note, I am not advising you of what stocks to buy or invest in. I'm not a licensed broker or a financial advisor. This is just purely for information purposes there. So all you guys that's out there that's thinking that you're interested, please look at the stock and think about it and do some research. Now, as we're speaking, you can see that the market is open right now and the stock drops at $2.25. So as I was saying, guys, it was trading at 260 to 340 yesterday. And now we are we're fortunate it's dropped to 226. This is a great price. I'm looking for it to drop closer to two. If it does, definitely I'll get some shares. If it drops lower, I'll just sit on them for a few weeks and see where it goes from there. Again, guys, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. I appreciate the support. Keep commenting, keep subscribing so you can get notified when there's new content like this that gives you opportunity to get in on a trade at a perfect time or to open your eyes so you can do some research to see if you could find something that you're interested in. Now, again, the price right now is 223. It's a huge drop from where we started off. You can see the video was showing 266 because that's where it closed the market yesterday. And it's a great pickup right now. But again, uh, for you guys who are being cautious, you can try to watch it until it do a little bit drop closer to the low twos or if not 190 above. All right, guys, I appreciate it. I want to thank you for coming back and keep watching. Keep enjoying my content. Leave a comment if you would like. And if you have any stocks that you want to recommend, please recommend it as well. All right, guys. All right. Take care.